Hi, this is Irv Shapiro with Make With Tech channel. And this is an update on a video that I did just a couple days ago. A couple days ago, I did a video looking at smoke and fumes in your Maker Lab from either 3D printers or laser engravers, and I focused a lot on laser engravers because they produce a lot of smoke. When producing an item like this coaster, it produces a lot of smoke, smoke you can smell, smoke that would cloud the air. And I reviewed two products from ComGrow. The first was a tent, and they make tents in sizes for 3D printers and for laser engravers. I looked at a tent for a laser engraver. And I also looked at their smoke absorber. And my conclusion in the video was the tent does a really good job of encapsulizing the smoke and fumes. The smoke absorber works to absorb the smoke. There was no smoke in the air, but by using an air quality meter, I was able to determine there still was a fair amount of particulate matter in the air and more than I was comfortable with. So my conclusion in the video was that you should enclose your engraver if you're going to use it inside. You can use a smoke absorber, but you also need good ventilation, maybe an open window, an exhaust fan. And you probably should wear a KN95 or equivalent mask while you're using the product. And then if you wait a few minutes after you're done to let the uh, smell of smoke dissipate, you can take your mask off. But I wanted to do a lot of testing of my laser engraver. And so that setup concerned me a little bit because my basement lab basically smelled like smoke most of the day. So I took it a step further and I actually directly connected the ComGrow tent, which once again works very well, to the outside fan. I have a bathroom styles fan in the wall. Now let me walk you through that. So the first part was I purchased a dust hood that's made to be used with a lathe for picking up sawdust. And that fit just about right over my bathroom style fan that was mounted in the wall. Now it's not perfectly airtight, but I was gonna have the fan running, pulling the air out. I connected that with a four inch flexible hose to a ventilation fan. And you'll see the ventilation fan and how it's set up in this little bit of video that I'm showing. And then I connected the other side to the ComGrow tent. So let's walk through this overall setup. You'll see here is the tent. I have the tent connected to a duct. The duct is connected to a Vivo Sun four inch 195 CFM ventilation fan that's going to pull the air out of the tent. It's connected to another duct that is then connected to the PowerTech Mini Gulp dust hood that's mounted on the wall right in front of my exhaust fan. So I turn on the exhaust fan I turn on the ventilation fan. The ventilation fan pulls the air out of the tent, pushes it to the fan mounted on the wall. Now, as you can see from these videos that I made while I was printing this coaster, it works really, really well. The only time I smelled any smoke in the room was when I opened the tent to take out the coaster. So the conclusion probably is let it run for a minute or two before you open the tent or you'll get a little bit of smoke in your room. Well, folks, thanks for watching this update. I hope you found it useful. I wanted to include this um, and you'll see a link to the original video above just so that people have a full picture. Please subscribe to the channel, click on the like button if you like it, 
and let's continue to learn things together.